Hi everyone, so today I'm back with another cushion review. Bio Essence recently released a cushion. It's called the Bio Essence Sakura Cushion CC Cream and it only comes in one shade unfortunately which is a huge step down from my previous reviews where at least for Korean products there's like at least three shades and uh, with the recent Fenty Beauty launch that has 40 foundation shades but this only has one and I'm assuming that it's going to be really light for me but that aside we're going to test the formulation because Bio Essence is really quite a you know popular brand in Singapore and in Asia and a lot of people are intrigued by it. So yeah, this is how the cushion looks like together with the packaging. It comes in this kind of like baby pink box and inside it comes with a refill as well as another refill inside this compact. So you get two refills and it is a white plastic packaging with a like a baby pink metallic rim so yeah nothing much to it but assuming this isn't really like a true cushion because inside as you can see it comes with that kind of metal filter so yeah it's kind of a cushion underneath but it dispenses through that metallic dispenser so I'll show you the close-ups how it looks like <laughs> As you can see, it's coming out through the metallic film, and yeah, let's just apply it. So as you can see, it's so light for my skin. This is about an NC15 or even NC10. Um, it doesn't really have a very nice yellow undertone as well, but it is quite peachy. Um, very noticeably, you can see the differences on both sides. The coverage it gives, you can still see my blemishes, so I would say it's about a light coverage. Nothing too thick or nothing too actually nothing too high coverage but this is great for people who don't want too much on their skin this actually feels just like you're applying sunscreen onto the face okay it doesn't mention whether there's spf in this but i will research it and i'll put it in the description box but yeah as you can see um i guess you would say that this is quite a dewy finish but it isn't super wet it's actually quite skin like but on camera because it's reflecting light it does look a little bit shiny but I think in person it still looks pretty decent, it's not super super wet. I will try to build up a little bit of coverage if I can get any on this area especially. So it's not buildable, you don't get additional coverage and the shade is super light for me and I'm already like relatively fair. I would assume I'm a little tan but I'm not super dark. Yeah, this is really just for people with that significant skin tone or if you want to really white wash, white wash or even just neutralize your skin tone to look really really fair then you might actually like this and you can apply a regular foundation on top if you want to look a little bit more fair but this is too fair for me so I'm just going to finish up my other side So as you can probably see, my whole face is kind of one tone and it's really really light and I can't wait to start bronzing but yeah, um, it is very brightening a finish so I must say that I actually do like the formulation to be frank I mean, I would prefer if it had a little bit more coverage but I don't hate it I really do like the finish it gives, it gives my skin a 
very good dousing of hydration and also makes me look really really healthy I'm not sure what you guys think but I haven't felt this kind of formulation in a while a lot of my cushions are very suited to oily skin and even if they are they kind of have that mattifying or full coverage quality to it but this really lets my natural skin shine and you know even though it isn't fully perfected but I do find that it gives me an even more healthy outlook than you know a very high coverage cushion would so the only thing that I wish was that it came in different colours and actually suited different people with different skin tones so Bio Essence if you're watching please come out with different colours it really defeats the purpose if you're only going to come out with one shade I mean there's only a limited number of people who can actually use this so yeah I'm going to do the rest of my face and I'll get back to you the whole face of makeup looks like I actually did a quick insta video on the Fenty Beauty products you guys probably see on my channel I already have the first impression brand focus out I was just trying a couple of other products that I picked up and I must say I pretty much got everything in the line except for the powders and that kind of thing which I generally don't feel like is very necessary for a new brand for me to pick up because there is so many facial setting powders out there what what difference does a new launch make but yeah these are the Fenty Beauty kind of uh, match sticks they're multi sticks basically and I use that to bronze up my whole complexion like you guys saw already it was significantly lighter than my skin tone but everything is matching really well if you guys want to see how I can turn like a very pale complexion due to foundation into this then do subscribe to my Instagram channel and do follow me there so that you can see my mini tutorials on just basically basically on simple tips and tricks on how to make your makeup a lot better so yeah going back to the cushion itself like I mentioned I really really like how it feels on the skin it's really lightweight I mean most cushions nowadays claim to be lightweight and they generally are this doesn't feel like anything on the skin it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip and slide I did not set it with powder I did go over with the matchsticks and the matchsticks itself do have average because you know, they can be used as concealers as well so yeah I mean that being said the coverage factor does look a little bit better due to the matchsticks but on its own you guys saw in the beginning it wasn't too great it was really really a light coverage but the finish on the skin is very very hydrating and it doesn't look too dewy but it still gives that subtle sheen that gives you a very natural radiance to the skin which I love and yeah shade range is really a big down factor at this point I won't do an evening check-in but you can check the description box I'll wear this throughout the day and let you guys know how it actually performs on my skin so I think for this cushion I mean despite it being not a great shade match I really do like the formulation it's just a very fresh face look that if you are of this shade you should pick up because like I mentioned it would be an NC10 maybe NC10 to 15 those kind of people in that shade range this might work for you on an everyday it really is the perfect kind of everyday formulation especially if you don't have problematic skin already and you are just looking for something to perk your skin up so yeah not much else to add I'll leave my prolonged thoughts in the description box and if you guys have any other questions feel free to ask me in the comment section below and don't forget to follow me on my social media channels I'll leave it down here and I'll see you guys in the next one bye